waiting. I wasn't chasing them down the road to come back. We <laughs> were actually waiting for my son, his wife and baby, but maybe they'll arrive in a moment. So my name is Gina, and I am Hermione's mum. And this is a wonderful day, and so excited, and so grateful that you would all come out today to share this special time as they express their love and their commitment to each other. So, I'm going to make just a few introductions so that you know who we are. And I will refer to my list so I don't leave anyone out. Um, so briefly, I'd like you to meet Lee. This is, this is Scott's brother. Wait. There you go. All right. And then we have Anna and Ivy. They're Scott's daughters here. And then we have Ruby over here, Hermione's daughter. And then, of course, John and uh, Emery are supposed to be here with their little baby, but um, hopefully all is well. Maybe they was cold key or something. Like that. So it. And Hermione's cousin, Caroline. Is so, as you know, Scott's mum and dad have passed. And so, um, I'm the last one. I'm the matriarch. <laughs> and so, I want Scott to know, love him dearly and welcome him to the family. So happy, so happy. Um, before I introduce the marriage commissioner to begin the ceremony, the couple and I would like to thank a few people. We'd like to thank Jesse Thomas Brown, who's our pianist. Thank you. Appreciate that. And Scotty Bennett, who is our photographer over there. Good. Are your cell phones off? Are you ready to go? Uh, I'd like to introduce you to Sharon Russell, who is the marriage commissioner. Thank you, Gina. Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is a very special day. And I want to begin by acknowledging that we're celebrating this occasion in the territory of the Coast Salish people. Scott and Hermione welcome you all to join them as they give witness of their love for one another and as they express their desire to share the rest of their lives together. Their relationship is one that is founded on friendship, trust, and respect. A relationship that encourages self-expression and mutual understanding, and stresses a desire to share knowledge and experience with humor, and with the acceptance of each other's unique viewpoints. <laughs> I got that one right, I guess. <laughs> We will all participate this afternoon in making this a sincere and memorable occasion for them as they enter into the bond of marriage in accordance with the laws of British Columbia. The union of two persons in heart, body, and mind is intended for their mutual comfort and help, that they may know each other with delight and tenderness. In marriage, husband and wife give themselves to each other to care for each other in good times and bad. They are linked to each other's families and they begin a new life together in the community. Hermione and Scott will find their love will grow deeper with the passing of each day. Through patience and understanding, through recognizing and accepting each other's strengths and weaknesses, through solving problems together, through comforting each other in adversity, through rejoicing in each other's successes, and through upholding each other in every worthy endeavor. They understand the importance of the decision they have made to marry today. They have found new heights of happiness in each other, and this will be reflected in the vows they make as they pledge themselves to each other. Scott and Hermione, does this reflect your intentions? Sure does. Good. 
It is into this special relationship that they're about to make a commitment. Therefore, if any person can show just and sufficient reason why these two persons <laughs> may not be joined together in matrimony, let them now declare their reasons or else forever keep their peace. <laughs> And I charge and require you both in the presence of these witnesses that if either of you know of any legal impediment to this marriage, you do now reveal the same. <laughs> Will the groom please repeat after me? I solemnly declare. I solemnly declare that I do not know of any lawful impediment. That I do not know of any lawful impediment. Why I, Scott Harold Henderson. Why I, Scott Harold Henderson. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Hermione Jane Jefferis. To Hermione Jane Jefferis. And Hermione, would you please repeat after me? I solemnly declare. I solemnly declare that I do not know of any lawful impediment. That I do not know of any lawful impediment. Why I, Hermione Jane Jefferis. Why I, Hermione Jane Jefferis. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Scott Harold Anderson. To Scott Harold Anderson. As there has been no impediment declared or admitted. And as you have freely and deliberately chosen each other in this union, I invite you to join hands for the vows. The vows through which you accept each other, as husband and wife, have no hidden power within themselves. These words are meaningful because they express your commitment to each other. As you enter this marriage, you are continuing an exciting adventure. Although adventures almost always encounter problems and surprises, if you face them together, you can create new opportunities for both of you. Scott, would you please repeat the wedding vows after me? I call on those present <coughs> to witness. I call on those present to witness. That I, Scott Henderson. That I, Scott Henderson. Take Hermione Jefferis. Take Jer Hermione Jefferis. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I promise from this day forward to love and respect you. I promise from this day forward to love and respect you. To support you in all your endeavors. To support you in all your endeavors. And to honor and cherish you. And to honor and cherish you. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, in sorrow and in joy, and to be the companion of your days, and to be the companion of your days, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. And Hermione, would you please repeat the wedding vows after me? I call on those present to witness. I call on those present to witness that I, Hermione Jefferis, that I, Hermione Jefferis, take Scott Henderson, take Scott Henderson, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. I promise from this day forward to love and respect you. I promise from this day forward to love and respect you. To support you in all your endeavors. To support you in all your endeavors. And to <laughs> honor and cherish you. And to honor and cherish you. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In sorrow and in joy. In sorrow and in joy. And to be the companion of your days as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall. <sighs> the 
marriage vows that you have just made to each other will remain in your hearts and minds <laughs> forever. Your rings are an unbroken and never-ending circle that symbolizes the commitment of love that is also never-ending. The rings you give and receive today are symbols of that love into which you enter as husband and wife. As often as either of you look at this symbol, I hope you will be reminded of the commitment you've made to each other and all that your marriage means to you. Scott, would you take the bride's ring? <clears throat> and place it on the third finger of her left hand. After me. With this ring I give you my heart. With this ring I give you my heart. There is no greater gift I could give. There is no greater gift I could give. Wear it with joy. Wear it with joy. As a constant reminder of the bond we have created. As a constant reminder of the bond we have created. And Hermione, could you take the groom's ring and place it on the third finger of his left hand. And repeat after me. With this ring I give you my heart. With this ring I give you my heart. There is no greater gift I could give. There is no greater gift I could give. Wear it with joy. Wear it with joy. As a constant reminder of the bond we have created. <laughs> together be a place of comfort and peace for you and all who visit you. May your lives be filled with warmth, humor, and love. And we're going to have a wedding blessing. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be sheltered to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there will be no loneliness for you, for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there's only one life before you. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead and through all the years. May happiness be your companion and your days together be good and long upon the earth. And before we get to the bit that I know you're all waiting for, <laughs> um, we all share Hermione and Scott's joy today, and we offer their support and all of your love to them today and in the future. This is an important step for them as a family. So I'd also like to identify Ruby and Anna and Ivy, who are a very important part of this family. This journey has no reliable map. The terrain is often unexpected, and it's a journey when they will sometimes rely on their friends and family for direction and guidance, for sustenance and support. And you look like you can all be called upon when needed. And now, you have pledged yourselves to each other in this bond of marriage by the exchange of vows and the giving of rings. Now, with the blessing of all the family and friends that are present, under the authority vested in me by the province of British Columbia, I pronounce you husband and wife. Thank you. 
party one. <laughs>